when my time comes, uh, I want to be buried at sea. When my time comes, I want to be buried at sea. <laughs> I would describe Jack Geller as being a prototypical kind of a father and husband uh, to uh, Judy and to uh, the brother and the sister, David Schwimmer and Courtney Cox, uh, a very caring, uh, dense, uh, mm, not terribly bright, uh, but uh, rather well-meaning and uh, pretty funny. Uh, I liked when I, I heard that uh, Phoebe uh, had a crush on me. You know, I mean, he used to be just, you know, Jack Geller, Monica and Ross's dad, and now he's he's Jack Geller, dream hunk. I thought that was so funny because uh, Jack Geller uh, is, uh, even, no matter how he uh, uh, acts or behaves, is pretty inhibited. Uh, who wouldn't be married to uh, uh, Christina Pickles, who plays Judy, my wife? She's really funny. Oh, our little harmonica. I didn't get it at first. And I read about these women trying to have it all, and I thank God our little harmonica doesn't seem to have that problem. <laughs> you know, I mean, because of course this is the creation of Marta and Kevin and David, and I just would be playing uh, uh, Jack, the father, uh, but our little harmonica, sometimes I think, oh, if I had understood the character, although I don't think Jack Geller ever understands himself. And I think that uh, Judy tells him uh, who he is and what to do, as well as the kids. That's what's one of the funny things about being a parent uh, in this group of people. Our little harmonica. Yeah, that's funny. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, he had to explain himself. Yeah, well, I don't think anybody understood Jack. And I certainly didn't understand me, so how could I understand Jack other than whatever Marta and the fellas told me to do? But I got in trouble once, and I think it's the only time I got in trouble. It was uh, when we had uh, the wedding in, in uh, London, and uh, I gave it away, the cliffhanger, that uh, Rachel was there. Now, Ross, repeat after me. I, Ross. I, Ross. Take the Emily. Take thee, Rachel. They were, they were really angry at me. And I thought, well, you're so successful. What are you being angry at me for? You know what I mean? I just made a mistake. I'm only human. I'm not, I'm not perfect. I, I'm playing, I'm your Jack Geller. Oh, fans, I was in, uh, in Ireland and, and young people, really young people were running after me. I, you know, I had no idea, you know, that people would remember or be able to accept me or respond to me as being this character, you know, the father of Monica and Ross. Uh, so that, that's pretty great. Taylor Swift uh, introduced herself to me at the 40th anniversary of Saturday Night Live of which I had uh, done quite a few, uh, I, I hosted quite a few of them. And she said, I know you, I'm a friend's freak. She said, you're Mr. Geller, you know? So then she said, and your grandson and granddaughter can come up and play with me on stage when I do a concert, because uh, Henry and Daisy are musicians. Also, I loved working uh, uh, with, with everyone. And, and when I was working with Brad Pitt and Brad was married to Jennifer, that was fun because we would sit together and talk. And everyone, Matthew, you know, I mean, the whole group, that just everyone and everybody in the crew. And also some great actors, that great uh, Gary Oldman when he was on the show. I'm doing my scenes with you? Yeah, nice to meet you, Joey. Wow, I can't believe this. This is incredible. I mean, you just won an Oscar. You know, I mean, we, we, we got along great. It's so identifiable and that this, it's not just that generation of people, it's this generation of people. And the age, my granddaughter is now 15. And then it touches me and moves me that she and her friends uh, like to watch it. It's uh, extremely pertinent as to the kind of awkwardness and how people are in the pursuit of relationships in a world that can be as uh, difficult and demanding and unreasonable as the world is. 
and then to have these characters and that people of this generation, uh, uh, and I don't just mean my generation, I mean of any generation can identify with it. What we have to identify with is great and even the concept of friends. It's just such, it's so wonderful uh, to be friends.